This video is going to cover the validation process of your HTML documents. Validation basically looks for HTML errors and non-standard coding. Most browsers today are pretty forgiving, but some might display your non-standard coded web page all kind of funky. So what I'm going to do here is get this HTML code, and this is an HTML5 document. I'm going to copy this. And we're going to go over to the HTML validator site. That's validator.w3.org. And there's three different ways in which we can validate our web page. That is by the URI, which is actually of the three, the best way to do it. And that being that your web page is already online on a server somewhere and you simply copy the URL or the address, paste it in here, click on check. So if we go to validate by upload, if you don't have the file online, just choose the file on your computer, upload it, validate it this way, and you can just do it directly here. And this is what I'm gonna do here, just do it directly on the website itself. So I'm gonna take that code that I just copied into my clipboard, paste it right in here, and click on check and you get green across the board. Ta da we're good to go. Even though this does say this document was successfully checked and you got the green line here, which means it works, it passed, it does give you the two warnings. Now, if the same exact file were uploaded to a server, then these two warnings would not be there. That's the only difference. Again, it works perfectly as it is, but you do get these little bitty warnings that you would not be getting if it were uploaded and going through a server. Okay, now let me show you how this works by taking one little item out of this code to make it not pass, just to give you an idea as to what it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh this. All right, come on back here. Now let me just go ahead and remove this one little closing tag on this paragraph. And let's go ahead and just copy this. That's one of the things I like about the Komodo editor is that if there is a mistake somewhere, it kind of gives you a bit of a visual idea that, hey, there's something wrong with this picture here. Fix this. But let's go ahead and copy this into my clipboard. Come on back to the validator.w3.org site. Go into validate by direct input. Paste that right in here. Click on check. Remember, there was only that one little thing that I did wrong intentionally. Boom, errors found. You're going to get this red dealy up here. And this says 28 errors. What? There was only one thing that I did wrong. On your web page, when you get it validated, it may say, you know, 500 different errors, but there may only be two or three items, two or three small items that once fixed will eliminate a majority, if not all of those errors and a majority, if not all of those warnings. So let's come on down here and see what they have to say. Because they do they don't leave it for you to guess. They do tell you what to look for as far as fixing the problem. Boom, the very first one, line 19. As a matter of fact, if you look through here, every one of these are gonna be on line 19. Come on back to our editor here and guess what's on line 19. Uh-huh, so by taking out that one little bitty character, it affects all these other items below it as shown here with all these different errors. Now then, where are we at here? Right here we go. Now, of course, there's no numbers in here. That would make this even better, is that if this were to have the line numbers, that would be pretty cool. We'll just go ahead and change that, revalidate, and there we go. Again, we saw the two warnings, but again, that's because this was not uploaded through the URI. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on validating your HTML markup. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.